see that there now? These are some of the uh, 45 gallon oil drums that, that used to be used to uh, put in the house. Keep the house from, you know, from sinking down. You screw up the stoppers here quite tight. And, and you put them all around the, each corner of the house. First of all, you had to uh, jack it up on either corner with jack, something, you know, put the jack, I just demonstrate, you know, jack putting on each corner. And then you block it up on each side where the uh, house wouldn't fall down. And then you uh, have large runners. The runners about, and it all, all depends on the size of the house. Probably these uh, wooden runners would be anywhere from 25 to 30 feet in length. You have one on either side of the house. Then you block it, you drill down to the floor, and then you bolt it up with bolts where the, uh, where the, uh, the runners wouldn't fall down. And then, of course, then when, the, when that was done, you knock your block suit on the other side, and then you just, you know, put your put a block and tackle. Now, I'll just show you this. This is supposed to be a block and tackle, right? So you hook your, your block and tackle into the, into the house, you straighten your rope, and then you get a couple of men on a couple of men on one side and pull on the pull on the line, and you pull it down to to the water's edges if you're going to. Uh, we got across some harbor, you know, like uh, we did here in, in Port Nelson. We bought the houses over here to Badger's Key. So we get it down to the water's heads by the shoreline, and then uh, you get some uh, cast oil drums, and uh, you fill the inside kitchen of the house, and the the, the, uh, the, the, the the dining room, or the inside room, the kitchen, and you just fill these oil drums around the, the wall, and then you block it down from the ceiling, where these drums went to go into water, uh, it wouldn't move a boat. It had to be done quite tardy, quite quite good, you know, in order to uh, for the house to float across. So the house at that time, then, when the castle would be uh, secured, that would the house would be floating about uh, anyway five to six feet under the water, you know. So then, uh, then you get a boat, a motor boat, and take it in tow, and then. You tow it back down to the place where you're going to land it, and then in order to do that, then you have to have a, a slipway built to pull the, pull the house in and get your block and tackle on again, as I demonstrated to you here, eh? So then you pull up again to the, the place, for argument's sake, say I pull this house here, eh? You have to pull into the water, and you, then you drag it up into the position you're going to uh, settle it in, you know, the foundation. Then you jack it up again, and then you, well, some people, uh, then they preferred putting concrete uh, uh, basement under it, you see, you know. But a lot of people they, in the earlier years preferred that you would uh, put wooden shores in under it, you know. Okay. Now, okay. This is this. This is the. This is the block you hook into your house, eh? Hook in here, and then it just would. You pull in the lid. This is the rope, eh? And then you pull on that. You want? You probably you you, you blow that on. Oh me? No, I can't. No. No. Here, as you other demonstrate, you know with the. Well, if you wet it there, you know. Oh, there you go. There you go. See what I mean? You just hold that, you just hold that, will you? I hold it? Oh. Yeah. Hold on, let me get soft a little bit. You just hold it right here, huh? Okay. <clears throat> now, I'll just hold it now, like that. That's, okay. That's just a part there that hooks into your runner in your house, you see what I mean? And this part down here hooks into a grapple on the other end. So then when that's secured, you just catch up, do this end of rope, and you see what I mean? You pull it, pull it, and pull it, and pull it, and the house comes with a block and tackle. That's big off. That's a block and tackle, right? Eh? Yeah. And how many men would you use? Oh, four or five men. Four or five men, yes. Five. Now, in some cases, that you would have a proper winch. In most cases, I, I used to have a winch on the other end. And, and the winch would pull the rope, eh? Not men at all. 
just take the winch and you pull it around and that would pull, that would be, you know, you wouldn't need any metal at all but a winch. Little winch, have the winch secure. Put this rope in there and kind the winch pulls around it would pull the rope itself, you see, so, see what I mean? Now this rope will stretch out to, you know, probably 50 or 60 feet from way where, where the winch was. You see what I mean, eh? The winch would be, the bin would be secured on this end of this rope, eh? Here. And you pull on the end of the rope, this would pull the house with it, you see? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir, I want to. Now, just to demonstrate, take part of my sake, that was the house there, right? Eh? You see what I mean? Okay, now. Yeah. I just demonstrate, take that was the house there, right? Eh? Okay, now you just, just uh, show me now. Huh? When you start pulling, mm -hmm. have you concentrate on the shear of the house, I know. Yeah, there. <laughs> so, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Tell me now. You got no idea now, have you? I'm going to the chair too now. I thought. <laughs> I thought that was done with this. Yeah. Now this is grappling here from this end, right? Okay? So when you're ready, you just concentrate on cheering, huh? Okay. We're getting two distillations. 